when you fall, your natural instinct will be to put your arms out. Ignore that. That is actually the wrong thing to do. If you put your arms out, you can break your arms, you can break your wrists. Particularly in college as well, if you're putting your arms out, you can get stamped on with boots and that'll hurt a lot. So you want to keep your arms close to your body, you want to keep your chin close to your chest so you don't hit your head, and you want to round out your shoulders and try and like go fall in a curve because that will spread the impact and stop it hurting as much. So when you're just like falling just normally, you want to keep your arms in, chin down, sit in the air, and then just roll back like that. When you want to come in, you want to step in, you want to have a nice wide base and you want to step with the opposite foot to the hand you're going out. So you're going in. So I'm right handed, so I'm going to step forward with my left foot opposite, so opposite. So I'm like going across his body. So you want to step in, having your foot like parallel with their feet. You want to bend your knees so your shoulder's about where their belly button is. <laughs> you want to put your arm in, you want to have your hand on the small of their back. If you see where my hand is, on the small of their back. You want to grip, so pull into your body like you're hugging them and you want to walk through. From the basic like wrap, you can do a drop tackle, drop tackle. So you go in, it's the same thing. You go in, you grip, but instead of driving forward, you pull across your body and you drop you down. So take it to the ground. You can also do a link tackle. So you're probably mostly familiar with that as well. So you go in. You link their arm and you drop down. The big thing about the link tackle is if you're doing it, the important thing is after you wrap it up, squeeze and drop immediately. If you wrap them up and keep walking, it's yanking and that's a card. So I have been reliably told by most refs. <laughs> <laughs> The purpose of a tackle isn't to put people on the ground. The purpose of a tackle is to basically inconvenience them so they do something stupid. So you don't necessarily have to put them on the ground 100% of the time, but if you stop them moving so the beast can get there, or you put them off balance so they make a bad throw so you can get possession, or you push them, push them off pitch, or stop them sprinting so they don't just like drive through, those are all valid, like those are all what tackles are there for. The main point of a tackle is basically to ruin someone's day and inconvenience them greatly. <laughs>